All right, guys. Have you seen the broccoli experiment yet? Because I'm about to do it for you. This is something that, I meant to look at her page so I could say her name, but I don't know her name. But another lady did this on Facebook and it's become quite popular. And I did it this morning at a class live and in person for some people and it was cool but the video didn't turn out the greatest quality so I wanted to redo the video for you all and I had more broccoli. So what the deal is is well actually I'll talk about it while we wait because we're gonna have to wait for just a second. So basically I'm cleaning this broccoli and I'm gonna show you the difference of cleaning it with the Young Living Thieves fruit and veggie soak which just so happens to be one of the free promos this month versus just cleaning it in water. So in one of these cups, I just put a cap of that Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak. I got two cups here, you can't see them both on camera, but I got two of them, that one's empty. And I'm gonna put this water in both of them. just water and I'm gonna take my two halves of broccoli here and I'm just gonna kind of swish them around so the deal is that a lot of us myself included um, get lazy sometimes and don't clean our produce like I just rinse mine in water and I feel like that's good enough I feel like I'm kind of rinsing off some of the bad stuff and of course when I get like bigger amounts of produce then I feel like it's kind of validated which I know is really lazy but then I'll like fill up the sink and I'll put my fruit and veggie wash in there and I'll clean all the vegetables together or the fruit or whatever. But when I just have like a couple of little things, I just, I don't know, I just don't take the time to do it. Maybe you guys are better than me, but um, that's how I roll. But after seeing this, as I told my class this morning, I'm gonna be a lot more diligent about it because it's kind of crazy. So, by the way, let me also preface this by saying I typically buy organic produce. So this is organic broccoli. So the video that the other lady shared, I'm guessing probably wasn't organic. And so her results were a little more dramatic than mine were with this organic broccoli because they probably don't put as much stuff on it, but they still put plenty of stuff on it that you don't want to eat. So the main thing, that's probably good enough. So I'm just kind of swishing them around in here. Try to rinse them off. The main thing, because this shouldn't have the pesticides, it shouldn't have, you know, the terrible for you stuff, but it still has the, um, like, wax. They basically put wax on a lot of produce to keep, make it look more appealing and look more fresh. And obviously, when you clean it with water, that wax does not come off. So can you kind of see the difference in the color? This one is so much, I wish I had better light. So much more vibrant green and this one you can see still has all of the wax junk on it so yeah you can pretty well see i think can you see the difference in there so when you just rinse it with water you may get like dirt off of it but you're not getting the stuff off of it that it's been coated in so that it stays looking nice and fresh so that you want to pick it up at the grocery store versus this one that's gotten all of that wax cleaned off so now you just have your lovely produce and what I love about it is because it's this Young Living Thieves it's totally plant-based it's totally natural so I don't have to worry about leftover residue I mean of course I'm gonna rinse it off now because I don't want to taste, you know, <laughs> essential oil on my fruit. I just want to taste or my vegetables. I just want to taste the vegetable. So I'm going to rinse it off, but I don't have to worry about it. Like if there's some residue left over, it's totally safe. It's totally all natural. It is all good. So now I can just enjoy my broccoli wax free as opposed to still waxy. You can totally tell. So I thought that was super cool when the lady shared it. So I wanted to do my own little experiment here. So to share with you all. Get yourself some thieves, fruit and veggie soak, and better off, get it for free this month. Hello, April Haywood here. 
So I just did the broccoli experiment with the plain water versus the thieves fruit and veggie soak, cleaning them in each of those things. And this is the one I just did. Hopefully you saw the last video. You can see that this one is nice and shiny clean. It's gotten all the wax removed off of it from the thieves fruit and veggie soak and then this one I just soaked in water and it still has all the waxy residue but after I did that I was thinking I want to do something else because what I used to do with my vegetables my produce before I started using Young Living is I just cleaned it in vinegar and so I decided I want to do another little experiment because I have honestly I have no idea what will happen if the vinegar will do the same thing or if it won't I always tell people I switched because vinegar stinks and the fruit and veggie soak, soak smells good. This is a big bottle of vinegar here, so I gotta go really slow. Um, but I honestly don't know if it works better, if it works not as good, if it works the same. So I'm gonna put just a cap full of vinegar in this one cup, and then I'm just gonna put water in the other cup, and we're gonna do the same exact thing that I just did with the fruit and veggie soak. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, I better cut my broccoli. It's a little big for that middle cup. Let's do this one. It's a little bit bigger size. Alright, should have just got bowls. Then I could make my broccoli as big as I wanted to. But vinegar definitely doesn't smell as appealing. Although I kind of you know, kind of used to vinegar. It's a great cleaning agent. I love using vinegar in my cleaning. I'll add it sometimes to my Thieves household cleaner, especially for windows and mirrors and things like that. Or I definitely add it to my laundry sometimes. If you ever get towels where they get that like musty smell, even though you know you just washed them, but they still smell like musty, almost moldy, put some vinegar in your washer and wash those towels. I promise it won't smell like vinegar. Your towels will not smell like vinegar. They will just smell clean and you will get that nasty residue out of there. So I do that every, you know, I don't know, six months or so it seems like it happens to the towels. So, okay, so let's see what the vinegar did here. Mm. Yeah, it looks a little bit better, the one with the vinegar. It actually looks better on the camera than it does in person here. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. When I hold all four up, I don't know about the lighting situation for you guys. But when I hold all four up together, yeah, you can totally tell out of these four which one is the greenest, right? Can you guys see that as well as I can? This bottom right one is totally greener than all of the other three. So the top two were just water. This one, the bottom here was vinegar, and this one was the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Cleaner. So definitely the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Cleaner got all of that wax off, and the others did not. So cool to know. Get yourself some Thieves Fruit and Veggie Cleaner. <laughs>